Hello everyone, uh, I'm uh, an internist uh, who is uh, going to discuss about the plugin closing, which is also called this brand name of Jiga. Uh, and it works by sodium glucose co transporter to inhibition. And uh, in this video, we're going to discuss how uh, this drug works, what are the common side effects, and the preventive methods that you need to take and to early detect the side effects and also uh, what about its indications or its precautions related with reproductive uh, age groups and also pregnancy and breastfeeding how the pagliflozin works or the mechanism of action is uh, it inhibits the main side of uh, filtered glucose reabsorption in the proximal tubules of the kidney so that it increases uh, urinary excretion of glucose uh, and finally uh, leads to uh, decrement of plasma glucose concentrations. So the ultimate goal is to decrease plasma glucose concentration and uh, it works by inhibiting absorption of glucose in the kidney and the specific site is a proximal tubule and the receptor is sodium glucose for transporter 2. Administration in adults, we can administer it with or without food, and it's an oral medication. And its dose is uh, 10 mg in patients who have a chronic kidney disease, and, and also uh, in diabetes, we, it depends on why we order it. For patients who have diabetes and also heart failure, we give them 10 mg. In diabetes, which leads to kidney disease, we give them uh, 10 mg once a day. And if the, the goal is the patient doesn't have heart failure and no chronic, um, I mean, diabetic kidney disease, and the patient now is only diabetes, uh, we can initiate uh, 5 mg and follow the glycemia, the glucose control, and increase the dose up to 10 mg once daily in for two to three weeks. The contraindications so that means uh, we should avoid this drug in patients who are on dialysis and was uh, hypersensitivity reaction to this drug and this also not given in patients who has type 1 diabetes who has decay and we should also stop it for three days for about three days in the pre-operative patient in preparation for surgery and there are also other minor things the concerns related to its service effects first one is bone fractures there are different data different researches uh, one showed the uh, increased fracture, the other not. So, in conclusion, in the overall population, this drug, the dapagliflozin, does not appear to increase the risk of fractures, but uh, long term data may be necessary to clarify these conflicting evidences. The other is genital mycotic or fungal infections like uh, 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 vulvovaginal candidiasis. For patients who has previous fungal uh, infections of the genital area, Male who are uncircumcised are at increased risk of these fungal infections, and we should uh, uh, check that one. And the other is hypotension or decreased in blood pressure because when we lose, you know, when you we excrete glucose through the urinary system, we also excrete sodium in water because of the what we call the osmotic diuresis. And for patients who are worm depleted, especially, there may be higher risk of hypotension, and we should also correct hypotension or dehydration before initiating this drug. The other is ketoacidosis and the other is the lower limb amputation. Uh, there is also conflicting data but if one see any sign symptom of infection in the lower extremities including osteomyelitis, new pain of tenderness or ulcers in the lower limbs, this may be the telltale signs and we need to discontinue with this therapy. The other is bacterial infection, the urinary tract, we should monitor for signs and symptoms of urinary tract infection and treat it early. And the other uh, issue is, can we use in, in patients who are planning to be pregnant? The manufacturer recommends to avoid all these uh, drugs in patients who are planning to be pregnant and also advise them to use effective contraceptions uh, before pregnancy. Uh, and because this drug is associated with some adverse effects on the renal development, which is observed in animal studies, so this drug is not recommended uh, in pregnant patients and also before pregnancy. Breastfeeding also, there is no uh, uh, study data which shows increased uh, excretion of dapagliflozin in the breast milk, but still 
considering adverse reactions in the baby, uh, mom who is uh, breastfeeding shouldn't use this drug or if they use this drug, they shouldn't breastfeed. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like the video.